Maybe even more than the Hungarian society, the Norwegian society is an ethnic homogenous society uh, with a uh, huge majority population and uh, the Norwegian society has a very, a very short history with uh, ethnic minorities um, at a scale. So um, um, there is a job to be done. Uh, we have good funding. Um, the, um, the authorities uh, see um, a strong civil society as um, a, um, a benefit to the society in general. And um, it's not always easy to get the funds we need, but uh, if you look at it with the foreign eyes, you would say that uh, uh, we're being funded nicely. We don't get funding depending on supporting the government, for example. We get funding, although we criticize, which is what we do a lot of the time, because uh, they do see that as an important factor, that we, don't, that we do stand up and we, do, we answer hearings, we disagree with law amendments, for example. And uh, that's an important part of our work that creates a strong civil society and involves the, the general population into the, into the government system, in a way. The Norwegian people has uh, um, uh, not too much knowledge on Islam. They don't know too much about Judaism. They don't know too much about the Roma people. So um, uh, I think knowledge is is uh, um, in a challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so we do have rising anti-Semitism. And we have rising um, uh, anti ziganism and we have Islamophobia, and we have racism. So we have a lot to do. So we still have have uh, uh, need of NGOs like uh, the Center Against Racism. I think what you see in a way is that you see less structural racism, less obvious racism. You find less uh, clear racism on the streets, for example. You don't find anyone going, well, very few going around shouting racist slogans. But it's there and it's more invisible, but it's more within, within that culture and within the society. It's more what they write on, on the internet, for example, and it's more within the prejudices that we have that you don't necessarily see. No one would say, I hate that group of people, or very few would, with right. a few examples. But they will use examples why Islam is a big problem for our society, how the Roma is poor and eat rats, for example. So there's all these things that uh, slightly like drips that happens constantly, which means that for a minority, living in a way they will experience racism on some levels they will feel it but it's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is and i think that's part of the big problem here that we that we constantly fight against but it makes it harder to to deal with because you can't say oh he's the racist or that is the racist phrase but it's a combination of so many things that create uh, the racism that we find here and the discrimination that people experience no one in norway wants to have anti-Semite as a label on itself, nor racist. So race, to being a racist, if you accuse, accuse anyone of being racist, it's like uh, the worst you can say to anyone in Norway.